the drip, 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 drip involving my alma mater does not stop dripping. I mean, whoever is out there orchestrating this, because it seems like there's some form of orchestration here, has been uh, brilliant in tarring and feathering the University of Michigan football program. And now you can make the case he did it to themselves if this is in fact happening. If this is all that we're reading about with this guy writing his manifesto was allowed anywhere near this Schembechler Hall or this program. And and what? It, it, it is just insane. Speaking on behalf of all of my friends, colleagues, and fellow alums, we're just texting one another for reeking out. There's just no other way to put it. Um, I, I will always shoot you straight on this program for reeking out. And then you read it in the Washington Post that, did you read this latest in the Washington Post? What's that? That this all comes from an outside the University of Michigan firm knocked on the NCAA's door and said, hey, we've got all this video and data from Michigan computers and how this guy was uploading videos that he was having his minions apparently take via cell phone camera of the opposing sideline, buying tickets, cost this much. There's a list of teams that they were going to visit this year to do it this year. And the outside firm basically told the NCAA, we have something we'd like to meet. And it's just like, who's the outside firm? Which the Washington Post did not ask that follow-up question or report on it. Who... Who hired an outside firm? Or is it something to do with the um, assistant coach that um, left the school or got fired and his laptop was involved in something and an outside firm was looking at that and they go in the laptop and find all this stuff and then volunteer to reach out to the NCAA about other things that they found? Or Who hired the firm? Who, who is this person or group of people? And then how do they get internal Michigan numbers or is it just this lone wolf dude and and it, and and this and Jim didn't know anything about it like he said and Michigan can't say anything about it because they haven't been officially charged with anything there's nothing to respond to except the drip 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 that comes out and again I, I, I just sit there and I read all this stuff and I'm shaking my head and I'm like, why? With all of these talented kids that I saw without this system in place, ripped out root and branch prior to the Michigan State game, destroyed them in a way that my alma mater hasn't destroyed this team, like dominated with a kid who is 1 million percent talented enough to win the Heisman Trophy on his own. I don't get it. Nor do anybody in my circle. And we're all like talking to each other. It's like a, it's like a, you know, a therapy group. Boy, you don't, you don't get what? That they would attempt something like this at all? What do you mean? I mean, college football teams are always looking for an edge. Anyone in business is looking for an edge. I mean, just look back to Watergate. I mean, Richard Nixon was going to win 49 to 1, and he still did all this illegal stuff. So Right, but I don't want to have my school equated with what Richard Nixon did in the 70s. No, of course not. Of course not, but it can't surprise you that something like this is going on. The Astros were looking for any type of edge. They were the best team in baseball that year. They were I, I, looking for I don't any edge want possible. My school associated with anything like that, and I would love to hear some pushback. But I understand why there isn't any pushback because there's been nothing put on their table. Like this is exactly what you're accused of. And and the only answer, the only retort that can be had right now by the University of Michigan football program is to go out without this guy in his Michigan manifesto that he apparently wrote thinking he would run the program one day. Okay? That's a different level. Uh, That's what I'm saying. It's just like, what is happening behind the scenes? What is real? What is not? We don't know. We're just reading all this stuff, 
and just texting one another, okay, is this real? Is this possible? What, what is happening? And hopefully we'll get our answers on this front at some point. But the only answer is to go out and absolutely obliterate the opposition. And if anybody's out there, well, there's an asterisk here. Well, the guy who apparently was doing all this stuff that supposedly helped everybody, because all all this stuff is, and again, I, I know I'll be accused of being a homer, but this is, you know, this is my team, so understand where it's coming from in that respect. But I, I shoot you straight. This is how I feel. Like, forget about, you know, the touchdowns Michigan still gave up. To Dion's point, you still have to stop it. Yeah. Forget about the touchdowns Michigan scored on offense. And again, as Todd Blackledge said earlier, this stuff benefits a defense in a way when an offense in the league so many times in college football, they go to the line. Then they turn and they get the sign from them from the sideline about getting in the right play. And that's when Michigan can get your signs and get your team in a better play to stop the other one. So now that that's all gone, you know, forget about the Donovan Edwards 80 yard scores. Forget about all those. Those those don't matter. That that that's that that has that gets taken away by the cheating. So The only answer is because this has been ripped out, root and branch, is to destroy Purdue, go into Penn State, punk them, go into Maryland, and say, yeah, this whole business of trap game, trap this. Every game is a trap game for us now because you think we're trapped in the world of we can't do it anymore because we were cheating that whole two-year stretch when we didn't lose a Big Ten game. Go into Maryland, destroy them, and have Ohio State come in. And destroy them too. Because you know all of these schools have changed up their signs and are you got a month now to prepare to change up your signs. Destroy them too. Go to the Big Ten championship game, destroy them, then win two more, go 15 and 0, and then, you know, the inevitable that everybody thinks right now is that Harbaugh is gonna go to the NFL anyway. As I saw a report on uh, you know, the the Michigan blog activity that is a last dance type feel going on at Michigan. Somebody from inside oh. the program saying, yeah, like this is, this is it. But what happened? Didn't this you say he was close to an extension? This was. Like, yeah. Until it came out. But again, the reason why it came out, it's not like the NCAA caught wind of it and like started opening an investigation. There's an outside firm went to, according to the Washington Post, went to the NCAA and said, we need to meet. Who's the outside firm? Who paid for the outside firm? Why was the outside firm looking into this in the first place? It's like a Tom Clancy novel. Right? Well, I mean, honestly, like what what is it? And we there are no answers. And I'm shoot you straight. It is a therapy session with every single Michigan fan that I know. We're all hoping that there's going to be a moment where, yeah, it's not as bad as it sounds, or or we're we're on pins and needles. That yeah. This is all a fact. All of it's truthful. None of it's an ax being grinded from an outside source that hired an independent firm. And Michigan can't say anything or doesn't. And the only, you know, there's a lot of 30s for this 30 that I'm, I'm interested in right now. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.